How's it going guys, uh, Teapot here, and today we are back with some more Story of Teapot, and today I'm in my courtyard area, um, and today I am dealing with an amp problem. <laughs> so, we have got a little, like, just not, not a problem really, they're just out in the courtyard, and there's a decent amount of them, and there were a bit of food, like, dropped off, dropped out of, like, a bag, of, uh, like, a bit of rubbish or something that we'd taken out one day, and there were easily about 30 or 40 just surrounding it, so... Put some bleach on it, hopefully it'll clear them off a little bit. And I think I've worked out where they're coming from a little bit. So I've filled in the holes with um, some bleach to hopefully clear them up. Because they've been around now since last year when we first moved in. Um, so it's still a bit of a problem now. But last year they were in the house and this year they're just outside. So it's a bit more bearable this year. But we don't really want them all over the courtyard. Especially when we've obviously got a daughter, uh, daughter and stuff like that. Especially when she... Want to start running around courtyard soon and stuff like that as well. Don't fancy you getting swarmed by ants. So hopefully soon I will get rid of them all and it'll all be sorted. So what I'm using to literally get rid of them is literally a bottle of bleach, and I'm literally just following them to any cracks that I can find, basically, and trying not to re-step on the bleach. But I found where one's just gone. Sorry, sorry for just stepping in front of you. And then so I'm just gonna shove it down that hole and just get. Hopefully it'll get rid of them. But I think they just seem to just appear out of nowhere, I don't get where they keep coming from but because we've got like a, a brick kind of floor in they can all kind of like get underneath it a little bit and stuff like that so uh, I guess it's kind of one of them right? it'll probably never stop, it'll never end unless we literally rip up the whole thing and, fo and I will probably put money on this whole courtyard is probably just a giant ant's nest somehow and it, it all used to be fields, so yeah, it so, surprise me if they're all underneath it. Yeah, they're probably all underneath it anyway when they probably laid it. They probably didn't, didn't even check when they laid any of it down. So yeah, I think I've seen... I think I know where they're coming from now, because I think I've seen a couple of them coming out of the, like the same kind of location. So I need the rest of the bleach on it, and hopefully it'll clear them up. And then we won't have any more ant problems. But Hopefully. Hopefully, but <laughs> it'll probably never stop. <laughs> So, just had a delivery dropped off by my mum, funnily enough, and my stepdad, and um, they've brought Evie a little package. Wait, let me actually move my arm so you can actually see it. Yeah, they brought her a bright pink shoebox. Yes, <laughs> yours, Evie. Yes. So, if I open this up, you will be able to see oh, we has got a chocolate, a bag of mini cheddars, which, fairs, I'm happy with them. Heroes, can't be a box of heroes. Reese's. Pieces, which I'm not a big fan of, so they'll be yours. Yeah, I like these <laughs> Quavers, can't beat a bag of quavers. Good old what's it? Some white chocolate, which I'd actually never seen before. It does say new on it, so it's probably new. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you for seizing on my phone. I really appreciate that. Um, this is for Evie, apparently. It's all for Evie. We're not allowed to touch it, even though we're not allowed our own food anyway, because Evie touches it and takes it all. Obviously. And then... Some muffins. I think that beat some um, good old raspberry cakes. So, thank you, mother, if you're watching this. I appreciate it. And I'm um, thank you, cat. Yeah, and thank you, stepdad, as well. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that, and I'm pretty sure Evie's happy about that as well because she'll be absolutely devouring chocolate in a bit, and I think she's tired as well. So I think she's due a little nap soon. Yeah, she's rubbing her eyes. Bless her. No. So guys, I thought I'd uh, show you my ecosphere again since uh, I showed you it yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd show you it again today. And um, it's looking a hell of a lot clearer today. You can see a little bit more air bubbles in it. So give me a second to just turn the camera around and then I'll show you guys what it looks like from this side. So as you might be able to see, there's like little bits of um, like, well, if I zo but yeah, I've zoomed in a lot there. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see like, little air bubbles that are being created by stuff. Because air's not just in there for no reason whatsoever. So there's got to be some kind of... Well, there's got to be some bacteria and little creatures and stuff like that in there. Um, obviously, for the air bubbles to be produced. Like, you'll be able to see the air bubble just going up right there. All the way to the top. That's proper in the background, is that, as well? I, like, just looked over the phone to see where that actually was. Nah, it's actually really deep in there. So if I give it a spin, I might see some more stuff in there, but I don't know, because the re that's the problem. Everything's really small, so everything's a bit hard to see. Like, if I zoom in, you might see some little things, like, roaming around in the water there that you might be able to see. Because I can see them just on the phone. I can only just make them out, but the, the light's hitting them as well, so that might, might help them 
stand out a little bit as well. But yeah, you can see the little pieces of like little white things moving around in there and stuff like that. Just got, got to somehow get it to focus, which is quite difficult. But it is coming coming on quite nicely. It is looking really, really good. But like I said, I do have plans um, to make another one at some point in the future as well. I just need to save up to actually buy one. So that'll be something I'll probably end up doing next week. So it's now like quarter to five at evening. Um, and I'm having tea, dinner, food, whatever. And I'm having chicken and bacon with roasties and chips. I've eaten most of my chips. I've just started eating the roasties and I'm eating the chicken and then I thought to myself maybe I should vlog that because I don't know why, why not? Um, and Kim's eating as well over there. Uh, she she obviously made all the food because I can't cook for crap. If I were to cook this it would come out black and burn and it would have been edible so there we go. Uh, that's why I make microwave food, yeah. <laughs> and Evie's not long had a bottle just before us and she's just down there, absolutely ch chillaxing. <laughs> she looks like an absolute potato. Um, and yeah, so after that, I don't know what I'm going to do after food. I think I'm, well, I know uh, Kim's going up to her stream and I'm looking after Evie for obviously a little bit, so I think I'll probably play some games or watch some YouTube or something like that. It's been a, been a pretty quiet day today, because obviously I ain't gotten anywhere, but you can't really do much in quarantine. But, ah uh, well, I'm sure I'll find something to do in the house. So, it's been a while since I actually filmed a clip, so I thought I'd actually film one. Well, give me one second just to turn this on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching some Achievement Hunter, um, watching them live stream some uh, Seven Days to Die, while I actually play some... Um... Wait, why have I just done that? I just grabbed it in the most awkward way ever. And I'm across him. Um, and I've actually just paid off my final house loan. So, I have basically don't have to pay off my last loan. I've got like a loan of like 2.4 million to build a basement, which is like one of the last things you actually do for your actual house and stuff like that. Basically, I'm just not going to pay it off ever. I'm just going to leave a 2.4 million debt because once you pay it off, there is literally no gain from it from paying it off, really. So I'm just going to leave it for absolutely ages and just don't pay it off and there'll be no repercussions. I will probably eventually pay it off because you might get something for it, but I'm not too sure as far as I'm aware. So I'm not very bored. I'm just going to leave it for absolutely yonks. If any of you guys know, though, if anything does, come of it. Like, I think you get maybe get some nut miles or something like that, but apart from that, I don't think you get out. But if you guys know, just let me know get down in comments or anything like that. But yeah, so I'm having a nice quiet evening, really. Um, uh, Evie's asleep, Kim's upstairs, and it's currently 20 past 9. Evie's gone to bed quite early for once, which is quite a surprise, but she might wake up. So we shall see if she does actually wake up. And if she does, I'll let you know, because I'll probably end up feeding her, but I don't know actually, because when it's this late, a bit fussy with me sometimes, but we'll see, won't we? So, me and Evie are now sat downstairs together because she has woken up, as I said, what a surprise. And But I have now got on, like, nighttime music, which is so really annoying for me, but it gets her to sleep, so I, I'll bear it, I'll sit and deal with it. It is so repetitive, but she loves it to bits. It's like a weird dog thing called Violet that just talks and it can apparently learn a name and stuff like that. I don't fancy it doing that, because that seems a bit strange and a bit creepy. So I'm just going to leave it as is, and it can just can just do what it wants. And it can probably learn its uh, favourite colour as well, which I'll probably do eventually that, but I don't fancy it learning a name. Uh, but the night the, the nighttime music works a little bit. Uh, it's, it has the down a little bit. But she's trying to stick her tongue out at you. It, unless, oh, I don't know. Oh, and there's a yawn. See? There we go. It does work. Proof. So you need to go to bed, madam. Anyway, guys, I shall see you shortly. So guys, it is very, very late at, late, not late at night now. It is quarter to twelve. Everyone's in, in bed. Obviously, he's been in bed for a little bit now. And uh, Kim's gone to bed now as well. And I've been up for the last... God knows how long playing Animal Crossing. Just chilling out, playing Animal Crossing, watching a bit of YouTube in the background. And I have put absolutely, God knows how much work in just to try and get this thing to five star. And I am absolutely exhausted from just staring at this screen. My eyes are absolutely killing me, so I'm going to take a break from it. And I don't think I'm going to play it, to be fair, for the rest of the night. Um, but I will show you guys, probably, I might show you now. Come on. I'll quickly show you now what I've done. I don't think you'll be able to see it very well. So if I go down this way, all oh, this bit. A nice little boxing ring. A nice little seating area. And then up here, a nice little pool area. Mm, all nice and everything. Hmm. 
So yeah, that's what I've been spending hours doing basically and it looks like I've barely done anything which is the worst bit about it, I put all this effort in and then by the end of it it just looks like next to note but it'll all look good in the end once all like the, the bushes are grown and everything um, and I'm also moving um, the shop as well so my island's slowly coming together but this isn't just my island, it's also my partner's island as well she's the main account on it, uh, Kim's the main account on it and I'm just a secondary but to be fair, I do a lot of like the terraforming and stuff like that, and, like the moving and stuff. So I just usually go to her account, send her all money over that she needs, rather than spending her money, and then <sighs> do what I need to do, really. So yeah, I'm probably going to go to sleep soon as well, because like I said, it is basically now 10 to 12, um, and I'm knackered. So I think I'm going to go to sleep soon. Obviously, I won't do my outro until tomorrow, because I like to share you guys. The response that you've given me on the last vlog because so far it's looking brilliant so i am now uploading uh well editing the vlog for obviously this one and again this is the outro what a surprise i'm doing it the day after um but i'm just gonna like i said do them on the day after then i can like talk about like how the video did and stuff like that um and i can actually show you guys how well the video is actually uh, well how how well it's actually doing as well because i believe it has got about 35 views or something like that already for some reason it's telling me that it's got 20. oh now you can just hear me screaming in the background which is lovely um yeah i believe it was about 30, uh, 35 views or oh, 38 views it's on already so it's doing really really well so thank you very much to every single one of you guys that are actually um watching it because it is doing really well you know it's apparently on 40 now and the one from day before that is on 50 so they're both doing really really well and yeah i am joined by kim and evie as you can probably hear in the background so this is obviously everything i see so there is the 40 views and there is the 50 views that it's on but i wanted to show you guys just this so on here is the subscriber graph. So I know probably some of you guys are looking at this and thinking, what the chuff is this? But at the bottom here, it tells you how many people are actually subscribed to your channel that watch the videos and how many people aren't subscribed. So apparently, according to this, 78% of you guys that watch these videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So when you actually go to my channel, if you could, if well, if you do enjoy the videos, because I'm going to guess a lot of you that do actually watch my videos are returning from, like, previous videos and stuff like that. It should say, going, guys? So stop here. talking, <laughs> around here somewhere, um, a subscribe button. So if you do, um, yeah, round here, sorry, um, you should see, a, like, a subscribe button. And if you do see that, give it a press, um, and then if you, then you will get updated with every single video I make then. And then you'll never ever miss a video then. And also if you hit like the little bell next to it as well, I think it is. And then you'll get notifications on your phone and stuff like that as well for all my videos and stuff as well. So obviously, like I said, I upload them every day at about five o'clock anyway. So if you just keep it out for that time anyway, you won't really miss them. But being subscribed and pressing the notification bell makes it even easier for you. Also, if you follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and everything in the, descri uh, in the description below, I also post there all the time and stuff like that as well. So you can keep track of it all there. But anyway, guys. Make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe, like I just said, and share it with your friends as well. It helps a lot more than you actually think. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace!